fine. We're not going to have Zerif top lane. Don't worry. It's going to be the Trinity Force again, I believe. And it just works really well into Gnar because you got that percent magic damage on your W now every single time you hit him. So you can actually duel him one-on-one -on -one fairly. I don't think there's enough wave on the side of Rocket to defend. Yeah, we'll have to see how they're able to play this one out. But with the picks and bans on the books, let us think. Let us know who you think came out ahead. Tweet us at LOL Esports using the hashtag ROC win or GIA win, and we'll add up your results in the game. Now, with these lineups... On Fizz, could work something along the lines of a Jax, where you have that uh, Bruiser power here. Pepe, uh, there, yeah, flash for a flash as well. Ignite is taking his health bar down, and that's first blood as Nuke Duck, <laughs> Nuke Duck. stands right in With front of him beard. for it. Yeah, he winners that week. And obviously Pepe Nero, whenever he has the chance, can do the same. But right now, yep, they're going to draw. Oh, again. Tipper's right on him, and he just had no chance at all. Triple team, triple threat. He knew, okay, there's a very low chance Giants has any water around this mid lane and they have no escape on the Zerif. We can set this one up fairly easily. It worked for them. Got the dragon as well. Over five with the over the wall stun. While Rocket secures their first. It's going to get started. Jankos, he is locked up, as you mentioned. Has to actually cat form away from this one. Right of the arcane comes out. Woolite eats two of them, eats three of them. They secure the dragon, but a little bit low. Can they turn the fight? Rydal now in some trouble. Vander's jumped on. He's already going down. They find a big solar flare. Do they have the damage? Frederick and Rydal going low. Nuke Duck picking up the kill. It is a three for one so far, and Giants have managed to win that. Get them into the mid lane where you can see them move down, and then you go straight for dragon yourself. You can follow them the entire way through the wall to your place. And then you secure the dragon, you avoid all the poke, you avoid the potential engage as well. So nice lane. Yeah, Rocket actually looking to maybe set something up here as Rydal checks in. Overpow might have gone a little too far forward and he'll eat quite a lot of poke in that situation. Giants were a little too slow to react to that dragon and maybe they're a little too slow to react to this fight. Audrey goes down. Rydal sure to follow as Overpow. Meganar hops right onto him. Wolite saved by the big Gnar from Overpow. Dodging out the damage. Wolite just able to barely keep himself alive. They've lost Yankos, but they take everybody away. Here we go. When he had last been competing in the LCS, but he really has made some plays this time. Let's see if he can do it again. They're going to chunk down Rydal pretty quickly. Frederick a little bit slow to the party, and a whole lot of CC was stacked. Right here on this dragon. It's been pulled out, but it's going to come right back into the pit. And again, Ooh. you see Giants on the bottom side of the map. Instantly, Rocket start pushing the mid lane because they want to force Giants to choose do we want the dragon or do we want to lose a mid turret? And that's why they're pushing it up again have that option open for them because they have the better positioning around this dragon here. And right now, Giants has actually started it. Rocket is still sitting nearby. Notice Nuke Duck. He's just on the top of your screen here. He can jump the wall to blue buff and straight on to Paper Nero. See if they're able to take this one away. Could be a smite fight. It looks like they're going to give it over for just a moment. Picked up by Nuke Duck. However, it looks like Vander was taken pretty low in that one. Yankos finally will get some more Magi stacks back. Big Nar comes out, but it knocks them away. Audrey extremely low. In comes Yankos looking for more. Whirlip now caught all alone and he just can't Find the pick on Vander Rocket blinking health bars, but they made that one at all as Nuke Duck took it away. And now the Baron being started. Frederick tries to check in, but there is no way he's able to get in there and check out. Baron taking a little while, however. Red Buff is actually helping out Rocket right now because they're trying to make a decision between trying to go in on this one. Still a tense moment now. Frederick could come in for the smite steal. Baron with the spikes. Rocket a little bit low. Frederick comes in. It's secured by Yankos, however, and Frederick taken down. Rydal might be next. He does not look tanky at all. Nuke Duck gets shut down finally by Pepinero. However, it's a consolation oh. prize and a triple kill for Woolite. Can they get even more? It looks like it. Here comes Whirlip, but Yanko says, oh no, you don't. Baron, four. Seems so difficult for Giants even defending us. I mean, what can they do against this team right now? Can they even grab something back in? Rydal's certainly going to try, but the rest of the team isn't with them. Where did he go? Woolite with another kill. It's not the best champion to play if uh, you're the only guy going in because you ask the support to chunk this one frederick's actually on the back side of the pit and unseen to the rock at eye but here we go Rydal going in can they maybe find the fight will frederick jumping in they found will can they blow him up no he is just too big Rydal now getting chunked out and audrey bailing out yankos coming up with the pick four four zero can they make it more it looks like it double kill for yankos that's the ace forget dragon boys we're gonna end the game and we're now 20 stacks on the soul stealer from yankos
It didn't Hashtag work for him work. earlier. But he's just make, picking up so many kills here in the late game. Rocket pushing straight into the Nexus. Yeah, I don't think there's really much Giants can do. They have to be alive first, and those death timers a little unforgiving at 40 minutes into this game. Towers being shredded, Nexus going down, and Rocket come up with win number two over Giants Gaming. GG, well played. And honestly, this game, it was Giants misplaying their composition. We never got to see the fist play pushing. We had the one window around 20 minutes where they did it right, took a bad team fight after, and from there on and out, they couldn't do anything. The whole comp fell apart. Rocket became too strong in the 5 on 5 team fights. And obviously, New Dog on this Cassidy. Two early kills, and so good in every single team fight at finding the right flanks onto Audrey, onto Paper Nero, nuked them down, forced them out of the fight before it even started, and then Rocket could just take everything. Yeah, they managed to pick up a very important second win here. And now, a lot of people would have called them favored, despite, of course, the record over Giants. But it's important, an important mental victory for them to be able to grab that one back in. They go into tomorrow with a little bit more confidence, especially considering, because they will be, well, they're facing off Meet Your Maker, so maybe it's not going to be as tough of a week for them, but still. Yeah. A little relieving after what was a very, very rough first two weeks, but all smiles now for this Rocket squad. All smiles and Yanko's being denied a handshake from his own coach here. Brutal world Ouch. to live in. Probably didn't brutal. approve of that's, the Soul Stealer. That's because of, yeah, that's yeah. the Soul Stealer. Anyway, though, for Rocket, I mean, yeah, this week you have Giants, you have MOM tomorrow. We saw them play early against Elements, a very one-sided game for Elements. So this should be a 2-0 week for Rocket if they want to again show how good they can be. And obviously for them, Right now here in the spring split, it's going to be all about getting top six. You want to get into the playoffs, because again, it's still a fairly new lineup you have here. You want to get the synergy going. You want to make sure you have the correct play style with the likes of Nuke Dog and Woolite on their side. We saw a little bit more refinement that game from Giants, or from Rocket, excuse me, as well, because you saw them again doing a, a pseudo protect the Woolite, but he wasn't on a hyper carry, so he wasn't the only priority target. Of course, Nuke Duck on that cast and got much more farther ahead than him. But in those fights, when Woolite got taken extremely low and the focus was all on him, they did manage to peel away really, yeah. really good timely Narls. And really, honestly, Nar, I think the Nar play around the European LCS is leveled up on a whole because it's just been some really, really massive plays this week and really, really well done on Rocket's side. So I, I was impressed by that. Yeah, it was very cool to see how Overpower didn't decide to be in the front line. Instead, he was looking for his AD carry and just protect him as often as he could. And he managed to time the Mega Nar so well. It's actually a thing when we watch these games here, especially in Europe, with the Nar. So often we see teams who mistime the Nar ulti and like they start a dragon when he's sitting on zero and he's gonna he's not gonna hit it during a fight and suddenly they lose the team fight. This game here, Opa actually timed it pretty well. He was a part of every single fight. He picked up 18 assists, not a single kill, not a single death from him either. Just full tank Nar, protect his carries, working out for Rocket. Yeah, really worked out for them. And you know, again, two and three record may not sound like the greatest, but of course, this is a, a, a easier week for them. Mentally now, you've got that extra win on the board. You can go forward and just prepare for Meet Your Makers and get yourself you know, to 3-3. Three, three. Hopefully, that's what they're yeah. looking to do. And even though they've still played very defensively and, of course, still hit a bit of a snag there at that point when they lost the fight at the Dragon Pit, they looked much better as a team overall. Yeah, I have to say, early game was better from Rocket than we have seen before, and they won the lane swap easily because we saw the Giants fast pushing top lane and then just leaving yeah, well, to one that I want to put on Giants Nar. maybe misplaying yeah, of it, course. but still. So Giants still. misplaying the lane swap and obviously Rocket is saying, fair enough, we take this, we get a fully uh, farmed up Nar. That's perfect for us. And then they actually used Yankos and Vanda to go between the lanes and take down these early towers. Deep wards for once. Again, they are the team who places the most wards per minute but just never used to place them offensively. Did this time around here, create a few picks from it. And overall, it looked a lot better for Rocket. We expect them to win now. We expect them to win tomorrow. And then we have to see next week what's going to happen. Yeah, over on the other side, of course, the Giants, you know, two and three may not look like the worst record, of course, for a team that just wants to stay in the LCS. But, you know, they're on a three-game losing skid now. It's not going to get any easier from here on out now that a lot of teams have sort of figured out some of that one-dimensionality. But we'll see if maybe they can go forward and come up with some different stuff. I do like the experimentation a little bit. They played the game a little bit differently. They had some you know, moments of brilliance. Sure. Perhaps if they can just take that, refine it a lot more, they can start to be contenders because yeah. you know, they still have a more or less decent record to start off. And a lot of teams haven't taken them too lightly as a result. I mean, look at this game here. Had the lane swap actually worked out for them, had they misplayed the lane swap, and then had they actually stuck to their, what they did at 20 minutes where they grouped up and started poking and not straight up team fighting against Rocket or taking a bad team fight at least, they could actually have won the game because they were in a pretty good position. They were ahead in gold. They just won that team fight at Dragon as well. It was looking good for them. 
and then you suddenly see the misplays coming in, and from there on and out, they didn't know how to come back from it, and that's where it went wrong from, uh, from Giants. So, honestly, looking at this game, yes, we had some major mistakes, but they can fix it. Go back and rewatch again the lane swap, and obviously know how you want to play with your Cork Zerif, and you actually can win games. Yeah, we'll see if they're going to be able to do that going forward. Now, let's go ahead and check in at the desk where Shox is sitting down.